All right. Welcome to today's Advent of Code. Um. Oh. Wait. Am I hurt? Yeah, I think so. Let me boost up my mic. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right. I think it works. Um. All right. So today we're gonna be doing some. Uh, uh, I just need to boost the audio. We're gonna be doing some. Um, Add with the code again. We did uh, yesterday. Uh, it took us a while to get started, but uh, we managed. So today, let's see what we can do. Um, we're not going to be too long today, I think. I mean, usually we take like um, half an hour, hour. Like the first days are very easy, right? But then uh, it gets progressively harder. All right, let's look at today's task. Oh, and also, yeah, I updated my GHC. Got new Haskell language server, so everything works right this time. Uh, we probably don't need it like we didn't need it yesterday, but yeah, it's nice to have some IDE support, right? All right. So what's happened so far is that the elves were traveling through some forest. Um, I wasn't quite sure why, actually, but, um, we're waiting, um, to, uh, uh, let's actually go back and, yeah, dig into the lore a bit, right? Yeah, so we're... So, wh where does this actually say the lore, right? Like, we just get, uh... Some calorie gun. Okay, we're going to the annual expedition to the grove where the fruit grows. Okay, I mean, this is not as good lore as before, right? There was better kind of, ah, we're saving Santa, we're helping Santa. Now it's just like, ah, oh, we're on a trip to collect food. Anyway, maybe there's a twist. Maybe the lore will improve. But, you know, this is more about the gameplay and not the lore, right? All right, so... We're on our way there, and uh, and now the elves have set camp up on the beach, and they're gonna be playing a rock paper scissors tournament. Okay. Uh, right. I mean, we know how rock paper scissors work, right? No, it's, like, it's not that hard. Okay. Uh, scissors to paste paper. Blah blah blah. Appreciative of your help yesterday. One of y'all gives you an encrypted strategy guide. Wow. They say he'll be sure to help you win. The first column is what your opponent is going to play. A for rock, B for paper, C for scissors. The second column, suddenly the elf is called away to help with someone's tent. The second column, your reason must be what you should play in response. X for rock, Y for paper, C for scissors. Winning every time would be suspicious, so the responses must have been carefully chosen. The winner of the whole tournament is a player with the highest score. Your total score is some of your scores for each round. Uh huh. So we get this single round the score for the shape you selected. One for rock, two for free, three, three for scissors. Plus the score for the outcome of the round. Mm. Okay, uh, so let's calculate the score uh, from the strategy guide. Uh huh. So I'm guessing now we're gonna be calculating it based on this one, and then we're gonna be trying to find like an optimal strategy. Sounds good. All right. So let's copy this input in there. I helpfully already created uh, like the framework file. You know, some prep goes into these uh, streams, right? All right. So let's say example. Paste it. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna read the input. Okay, so um, 
read input, just gonna take in the file path and then give us an IO of uh, pairs of uh, act moves. Let's just say, call it moves, okay? Now let's define data moves equals rock or paper or a scissor deriving show eq or alleges okay uh so we're gonna be giving a pair of moves comma moves i read uh -huh. now let's write a function that goes uh, uh esther to move so we could just go character to move but we're gonna do uh do it like a string to move um a is equal to a for rock b for paper c for scissor k equals rock um, b is gonna be scissor faster to move c is gonna be uh, I oh, don't know, B for paper, right? Paper and then scissor. Okay. And now let's make it work for our moves. Uh, X, no. X for rock, Y for paper, Z for scissors. Okay. X, uh, Y, Z. Read input equals do. Okay, so F is going to be read file. Uh, we're gonna do lines uh, read file uh, imp okay uh, fn this is gonna be file name read file file name okay um you know we could be clever here but let's just let's just not okay uh let line so it's gonna be a three character string so it's gonna be uh, C and then sp space and then uh, column well, let's call this uh, C column one and then column two and then empty string C1 comma C2 now let's actually change this to characters char to move. Huh. Uh, okay, this is a. Oh, this should be a move. Okay, now and then we do. Start to move and start to move. And then we do a. Okay, let's just do it like this. Where parse line equals this. So there's no safety here, but that's okay. A uh, map parse line dot lines. Boom. Now let's uh, just see what it says. Uh, read input. Example into print. What does it say? Okay, we need to go GC. See, we got the fancy one. 9.4.2. That's good stuff. All right, uh, we run GHC. Uh, let's go day two dot uh, HS. three o day two. And then we're gonna run day two. Ah, rock, paper, paper, rock, scissor, scissor. Uh-huh. Uh, so it was... Okay. So I got the moves. Okay, so... Uh, score round. Synchronous so score for the paper shape you selected. Okay, so... Okay, so... Uh, score round. Uh, oh, 
hardcore round is going to take a pair of move comma moves. That's actually just a fine type round equals move comma move. There's going to be a list of rounds. And score round is going to take round to int. Okay, so. Um, Cell score. Okay, selection score is going to be. Let's go. Uh, cell score equals rock equals one. Paper was two, right? And scissor was three. Scissor. Scissor. Oh, it's actually scissors, right? And then, okay, this is a cell score is move to in. So it's gonna be a cell score me plus plus the score for the outcome of the round. Zero if you lost. Three for a round of the draw, six if you won. Okay, so, um, okay, that should actually be, this should actually be this, right, score around. Okay, so let's, uh, let's actually just do move to move. Okay, and then we say, uh, rock beats paper. Ah, what the opponent does first. Okay, so we'll say, uh, yeah, okay, so rock beats paper. So we get zero if that's the case. Uh, paper beats scissors. So that's zero. And, oh my god. Scissors beat paper. Okay, so those are going to be the zero rounds if we lose. Um... Now we're gonna flip all of these. Let's see. Let's see if we can actually make this uh, pretty. gonna be three okay uh so rock speed paper paper scissors scissors paper paper, paper rock scissors paper paper score round and uh, anything else they are equal right um no this was gonna be six right yeah six Ah, we can maybe group it better, right? Uh, oh, seems to be doing... Ah, I wrote paper. I wrote it wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this should be rock. So, uh, rock, rock, paper, paper. So if I play paper, they play rock, I should get six. If I play scissors, they play rock, I get zero. Uh, if I play scissors, they play paper, I get six. If they play, 
uh, paper I play rock, I get zero, and if I play rock, I get six, and then this is, yes, okay, and otherwise it's three. All right, round scoring function done. Then we'll do total score. That takes a round and gives us an int. Now, total score, uh, me, no, this is gonna be up and me. It's gonna be a cell score me plus uh, r at plus r uh, plus uh, score round uh, oh right. Plus a uh, score, score round a uh, op me. Okay, now uh, let's just that it all works. So now we're gonna do this, uh, and then we're gonna not just print. We are going to um, map a. Uh, Total score first. So we get 815. Let's see if that matches here. So first one is 8, then we get 1, and then we get 6. Huh. The third round is a draw with ball players choosing scissors, giving us score 3 plus 3 equals 6. So cell score. Ah, oh, this was 3. Sorry. See, this is why we test, right? Sanity check done. Eight one six. Okay, now let's get our puzzle input. Uh, let's have a new file. Input. And let's run it back. Oh yeah, sorry, we didn't do this um, actually. Uh, so we just do, uh, some, one, three, five, six, five. Let's see. All right. Fresh gold star. Woo -woo. Now let's see what's going to happen in part two. See, we're doing it quick today. Uh, also tomorrow. Uh, because it's the weekend and surprisingly enough, I want to do things on the weekend. So, uh, I'm gonna, um, uh, I think I'll do it around like two o'clock, right? Uh, European time, right? So, yeah, so kind of do it, you know, do it in the morning, like not in the morning, right? I don't want to wake up, but like do it afternoon and then I can do whatever in the evening, right? So if you want to join tomorrow, it's uh, two o'clock. All right. Anyway, the second column says how the round needs to end. X means you need to lose. Y means you need to end the round in a draw. And Z means you need to win. Good luck. Okay, we don't have to figure out the strategy. We just have to figure out a uh, figure out what shape to choose the round rinse as indicated. Okay, so. I, mean, I don't know. This is just a big if statement, right? Okay, so lose, draw, win. Okay. Um, Okay, so I want to do this in a clever way. Okay, so, um, so, okay, so this was, um, part one equals uh, sum dot map uh, total score. Uh, okay, part one. 
print dot part one. So now we're gonna do part two. Uh, part two. Okay, now let's click here, get this annotation. Part two, um, so it takes in part one, two, takes in a around, uh, around, and returns an in. Okay, part two equals part two prime something. Okay, uh, so how do I do one round here? Undefined. Let's just write that. Undefined. Um, ah, it's gonna be fine. Print dot it. Okay, it's going to be a uh, part two prime. We can take a move and a move and a and return. Ah, so we choose and then we score the round. Okay. Part two prime. Um, okay, so it's, so let's see here. Uh, so part two, uh, uh, up and then a res. Okay, so because it, it's, it's already a move, so let's just say rock. Uh, here we need we need to lose. Okay, a uh, paper. Here we need to draw. Uh, so Y was a draw and said was win. I think. Uh, you need to win, okay? Uh, so this is win. Okay, so uh, let's derive enum here. Now, um, so what I want to do is I want to click take a, this is wind, oh sorry, this is scissors. Okay, so, um, okay, now wind, uh, this is wind, this is lose. So what I want to do is I want to gonna, I want to take the, um, where, um, Scores. Okay, so let's uh, let's actually do it in a different way. Uh, uh, let's just call this. Uh, this is a res. Okay, and now we're gonna do uh, like case matching here. So we're gonna say, uh, if we get rock out of the res, we need to win. Uh, here we need to uh, paper out of the res. We need to draw and uh, scissors. Scissors. Uh, from the res, we need to lose. Okay, so now we have it all in the same thing. Okay, so where uh, other res equals. So we're gonna say, um, uh, we're gonna say a uh, map score round up over all the moves from rock to scissors. You get what I mean? Uh, other res. So this will tell us uh, what the other res is. Mm, um, uh, and then we do M. Uh, 
let's actually do here um, score round comma um, I think if you sort on pairs you always sort by the last one right sorry a uh, one comma two uh, should be zero comma uh, three okay uh, import data dot list i think this default sort is a uh, oh, i sort on the first one okay so we're gonna ah we got a new follower oh not bad oh, i got five viewers that is less than yesterday but it's not too bad uh okay so we're gonna say Okay, uh, so this is gonna be score round up M and then M. Okay, uh, and then we're going to sort this, right? And then we're going to take the second one. So now then we've kind of gotten a list of moves we need to take. So for the win, we need to select the biggest one. So this will be other res a uh, uh, two. This will be other res one, and this will be other res zero. So. Um, So other move equals case res of, let's just do it this way. Other move uh, in equals case res, res of a uh, fellow Haskell enjoyer. Yeah, it is the best language. Uh, two, uh, paper, one, scissors. You know, if we actually defined this in the opposite way, this would be super easy, but eh, we didn't do it. Um, let's not do this paper, scissors. Okay, uh, and sort is not in the prelude, which is hilarious. Not list, sort. Uh, Okay. What do you call any word? Couldn't make a message type with a. Uh, oh. Oh, what was that? Ah, we got two su community sub gifts. I have no idea what that means. That was not there before. But. Ah! You have subs now. Wow! Nice. Thanks, Head of a Monet. Uh, I'm still in like thought here. Wait. Um, so this is the other move we have to pick. If this type checks, but it doesn't, right? So. Uh, good match to type A, 1, B. Okay, other res. Oh. Maybe I need to do... What is this? Ah, okay, yeah, it's just giving me the wrong thing. Other res is a list of uh, moves. Yeah. Uh, map uh, S and D. Okay, uh, so this will actually be, we're going to say total, so we're going to say uh, equal to total score of op and uh, other uh, res dollar other move in. Mm. 
Now let's map this over the example. Uh, map part two prime. And let's see what it says. Ah. Huh. 492. Oh, we're supposed to get 417. Mm -hmm. Ah, we need to reverse this, I think. Boom, 417. Um, I think there's a thing to do this, like a function that goes from enum to like int. Right, enum a a to h from enum. Um, so then we just don't reverse it, and this one will be a uh, from enum res. Let's just fancy it up a bit. the same okay cool uh and then we take the sum of this i guess yeah part two equals a uh, sum dot map part two prime <laughs> okay Run on the example, 12, input. Ah, oh, one, two, four, two, four. Let's see. All right. We did part two. Uh, and it took us 30 minutes. See, the first days are quite, uh, quite nice. It's a bit... You know, we get started, you get our groove on, we got our setup going. People are aching for more uh, advent of code in Haskell. But it's going to get a lot harder. I think like the first 10 days will be like, oh, okay. And then it like, then it starts getting really hard. And then it starts getting, so like, you know, day 10 is like, that's okay. It's a bit hard. It'll take you maybe an hour, hour and a half. You have to not just do it, but also think about the performance. And then it starts getting super hard. Uh, like day 16. And you're like, oh my God. All right. But uh, yeah. So thanks for tuning in today. Uh, not a long stream today. Here for a good time not for a long time as they say but um yeah it's gonna be like this for the first couple of days but thanks for tuning in and uh yeah so two o'clock tomorrow so uh four hours before this one started so in 19 and a half hours we're gonna do uh advent of code day three uh, and then, you know, people have their evenings free, right? You don't have to be tuning in on a Saturday night. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And uh, see you tomorrow, hopefully. All right. Bye-bye. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I need to sit like this. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.